What's up, YouTube? You know they can't keep a real one down. Let a real one back in. <laughs> Look, anyway, I'm going to jump right up into it. I ain't going to waste no time. I've been observing and peeping what's been going on in these YouTube streets, and all I see is, like, fakery. That's all I see. But look, I made a video back in May of 2019, May 11th, to be exact. And uh, it was uh, titled that the 60s would be fighting each other. You know, that's what it was about anyway. So here it is four years later. And I told everybody, I explained to everybody that uh, the rolling 60s would be fighting each other. There would be infighting within the Rolling 60s uh, organization. Um, if you're not familiar with the Rolling 60s, they're a crib neighborhood, Los Angeles, California. Um, they're known for killing each other. This is a fact. I don't care who gets mad at what I say. I have proof. The reason I have proof, because I've been part of the gang community all my life. I know certain people, I know certain instances, I know certain situations. So I'm not going to get all really too deep off into that because that may be, get somebody incarcerated or anything like that. And I'm not trying to do that. But look, check it out. This is what I want to say. When I was blogging heavily back in 2019, back when, um, you know, Nipsey met his demise and everything, uh, there was a certain there was there were many people who are talking about, OK, you know, you're doing the police's work, you're doing this, you're doing that. You shouldn't be on here blogging and everything. And uh, a few of those people was from rolling 60s. Now all you see is all the 60s on YouTube blogging. It's funny how every day you turn on YouTube and the 60s is fighting each other. They're putting their business out in the street, uh, talking about who should be DP'd, who shouldn't, uh, who's a snitch, who's not a snitch. Who gonna uh, run the fade? Who's not gonna run the fade? Um, the '60s look real weak right now. And um, cowboy, I wanted to uh, really get off into that because uh, there was an allegation uh, made against him where uh, Nipsey Hussle's um, his baby mama exclaimed that uh, cowboy raped her back in the day, like 20 years ago. Now, whether she's telling the truth or not. Is not why I'm on here. I'm not trying to f figure out if she's telling the truth or not, because this is something that's serious. And, and, and I will say this. There's many there. There's many women that's been raped by gang members in L.A. And, and, and the reason they ain't said nothing is because of the repercussions. They feel that, OK, uh, this person or that person or, you know, I'm going to just keep it quiet, keep it swept up. Uh, swept under the rug because I already know if I say something, you know, if I go to the police and say something, you know, they're going to try to knock me down. Or if I say something, they're going to whoop me or this going to happen. So they fear the repercussions. You know, we can't look at this situation where China said that cowboy allegedly raped her, where, you know, we can't look at the situation like, OK, you know, she didn't been through what she been through, you know. A, a lot of people against her. A lot of people feel like she didn't lied about other things and like she grimy or whatever. Outside of all of that, a person can still be uh, sexually assaulted. It don't matter what type of background or lifestyle someone is living. They can still be assaulted. So, you know, uh, whether Cowboy did this or not is truly foul, you know, um, he and he and he and, and and that and that look, check this out. That podcast that he's on every day. Y'all need to go to that podcast and tell the dude to speak on that. You've been speaking on. Did Eric Holder say this to Nipsey before he was killed and this and that? No, let's speak on that one. Don't try to sweep that up under the rug. Let's get to it. Let's 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 get to that because it's people saying they got paperwork on this boy. They saying he did this. They saying he 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 sexually assaulted somebody else. 
his homeboy 600. But anyway, this is just a video about how the 60s is just infighting. And I really told y'all about that uh, four years ago. I told you this was going to happen because in the past, before uh, Nipsey was even uh, assassinated, look, the 60s been killing one another. They been killing one another. And I know about a few instances. I know where a certain individual was hiding in the closet and killed his own homeboy over some money. I know. But I'm going to just leave it at that. I ain't going to say no names, no dates. If you know, you know. Anyway, um, you know, you had a brick baby situation with Cowboy. You had a 600 situation with Cowboy. You have Big U talking about how uh, they can be DP'd. And Big U is fake. I already exposed him. He's fake. How you going to call somebody's DP, but you're supposed to be an activist? I don't care how many times uh, you give the children backpacks or you speak at a funeral or you do something good for the children. Okay, that's good. That ain't going to change your background and your history. You you be in file. It's not going to change any of that. So that's that's smoke. That's a smoke screen. That's smoke and mirrors. Anyway. Um, yeah. So what do y'all think about the 60s uh, beefing amongst each other's? And being in the media, wanting to be famous and wanting to be seen every day and uh, exposing one another's business. And do you think it's gangster? Do you think that's what Crips is supposed to do? Do you think that's how 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 true men should do it or should they do it behind closed doors? Should they handle their business and handle their differences and speak to one another and, and hash it out like that? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know what's going on. How you how you guys feel about this situation and everything. I really want to know about the uh, China hustle situation. You know, um, we don't know too much about it. We just know she said that it happened 20 years ago. Um, maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and call her a liar, though. That's what I won't do. Um, you know, one person says yay, one person says nay. So I wish I could really speak to her right now. Um, I wish I could speak to Cowboy too and see what's going on. Um, that podcast that he be on, I don't know the name, but anyway, he's on it every day. Y'all need to hit that podcast dude and tell him, uh, you know, yeah, speak on that. Because that's a serious, serious, serious accusation and situation right there. Anyway, I'm Star Wolf Entertainment TV.